Welcome to your new Toyota RAV4 Hybrid. In this short video, we'll show you how to start your new RAV4. First, let's start the engine. You don't need to take the smart key out of your pocket or bag, it just needs to be inside the car. Now check the gear selector is in the parked position. Now press your foot on the brake pedal. A key symbol will appear on the display to show the car has recognized your key and is ready to start. And press once firmly on the start stop button here. The ready light will indicate that the car is ready to drive. Note that the engine may be silent as the hybrid system will use battery power to drive the car if possible. With your foot on the brake pedal, select Drive. The parking brake will release automatically as you press the accelerator, or it can be manually released by pressing down on this switch. It's as simple as that. You can drive it like you always have. If you would like to refine the settings, follow the next set of instructions. Once you're on the move, you might want to change the way the car responds to suit different roads or even your mood. So the RAV4 features drive modes, which change the way the accelerator and steering respond. The default setting is normal. This provides a balance of fuel economy, quietness and performance. Eco mode helps the driver save fuel by making the throttle response gentler and limiting the air conditioning system performance. Sport mode changes the feel of the steering, transmission and accelerator to make them feel more responsive. It could be used on a twisty mountain road, for example. Once you have finished driving, select P for parking with the transmission shift lever. Apply the parking brake if auto brake hasn't been selected and press the start stop button. The system will shut down and it's now safe to leave and lock your car. Your new Toyota has some highly advanced safety systems. In this short video, we'll tell you how to use them to give the most enjoyable and relaxing driving experience. First, the pre-collision system, which is always active unless switched off. It uses a radar sensor and front camera to detect objects in front of your Toyota. When the system calculates that a collision is imminent, it sounds a warning and flashes a message on the multi-information display. If it determines the possibility of a collision is extremely high and no action has been taken by the driver, the brakes are automatically applied. The automatic braking will be cancelled if the accelerator pedal is pushed hard, the brakes are applied, or the driver steers sharply as if avoiding the obstacle. The pre-collision warning can be turned off or the timing changed using the vehicle settings menu in the navigation screen. There are three levels of sensitivity available and the middle setting is the default. Next, Next, we'll take a look at Lane Departure Alert. This function reads the road markings on motorways and other faster roads, alerting the driver when the RAV4 seems to be drifting out of lane. If the car drifts across the markings, the lane line will flash yellow. When the dynamic radar cruise control is operating, your RAV4 also has the ability to intervene and gently steer the car back into the center of the lane. When the icon light in the display is white, the lane tracing is operative. If flashing is orange when it's intervening to guide the car back into lane. The system won't warn the driver or intervene if the indicators have been activated. You can turn the system off at any time using this button on the steering wheel. The car will remember your preference next time you drive. Next, we'll tell you about the adaptive high beam system fitted to the RAV4. This uses a front-facing camera to assess the light from other vehicles. It then automatically controls the high beam to give the best visibility with without dazzling oncoming traffic. First, check the headlight switch is at the on or auto position. To activate or deactivate the adaptive high beam system, push this button by the driver's right knee. Then push the left hand stalk away from you. A light will show on the display to indicate AHS is active. Now let's look at road sign assist. This helps keep you on the right side of the law by reading specific road signs and warning you if you're breaking the rules. When when the camera recognizes a sign, it will be shown on the multi-information display. Here, the system will flash a warning to remind you of the road sign instruction. Should you wish to turn the system off, look for this option in the settings menu. 
Finally, we'll look at the RAV4's full range adaptive cruise control. When set, the car will maintain a set speed until it comes up behind another vehicle. It will then stay at a fixed distance behind until the way is clear. To activate the system, press this button on the steering wheel. Then press the set button here to fix the desired speed. You can now adjust it by using the up and down buttons. You can change the speed in five mile per hour increments by keeping the plus or minus button pressed. A symbol will appear on the display to show the system is activated. The car will now hold you at this speed as long as the road is clear. Your RAV4 can also help you manage the car's speed by reading road signs and suggesting adjustments to the set speed. When a limit limit sign is detected, it will be shown in the display with an up-down arrow. The set speed can be easily increased or reduced to the recognized speed limit by pressing and holding the plus or minus button. If you want to adjust the distance between your car and the vehicle in front, it can be set by operating this button. There are three choices, long, medium or short. If the vehicle in front is too close and the car can't decelerate fast enough, it will sound a chime and the car may apply apply the brakes automatically if the driver does not intervene. To cancel the system, simply press the cancel button or touch the brake pedal. Enjoy the advanced safety features of your Toyota and drive carefully. Welcome to your new Toyota RAV4 Hybrid. In this short video, we'll show you how to pair a phone to your car's Bluetooth for multimedia and use Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. First, make sure the Bluetooth pairing on your phone is switched on. Then press the menu button on the car's display screen here or the phone button on the steering wheel. Then select yes on the car screen when asked if you'd like to register a Bluetooth device. A list of the available Bluetooth devices and phones will appear. This could take up to 30 seconds. Choose the phone you'd like to link to your new car. You may be asked to check the pin on your car's display matches that on your phone. If they match, accept the request on your phone. Now you are paired and ready to make hands-free calls, stream music and play podcasts. You can also use Apple CarPlay or Android Auto by connecting your phone with a cable. Insert the lead into your phone. You'll be asked if you wish to use CarPlay or Android Auto. You'll be linked and the available app icons will be shown on the RAV4's display. Your new Toyota RAV4 is fuel efficient thanks to its hybrid technology, but eventually you will need to fill it with petrol. In this short video, we'll show you how to open the fuel filler cap. You can see which side the filler is on by looking at the arrow next to the fuel icon on the instrument panel here. First, release the filler cover by pressing this button, which is located by your right shin. The cover is now unlocked, so simply open it and unscrew the cap. It can be stored here while you're filling up. Once you've finished, simply replace the cap and gently close the filler cover. Your new Toyota RAV4 will come with a full screen wash reservoir and it will get topped up at every service, but it's likely you'll need to fill it yourself occasionally too. In this short video, we'll show you how to open the bonnet and refill your screen wash reservoir. First, you'll need to open the bonnet. You do this by pulling the release catch here down by your right shin. Next, you'll need to move around to the front of the car and unlatch the safety catch. You'll be able to feel it above the Toyota badge center here. Push it to your left and lift the bonnet. Now you can hold the bonnet open using this rod. Pull it from the clip here and place it in the slot here. Now we can find the screen wash filler cap. It's behind the headlamp on the driver's side and is clearly marked with this symbol. Check the instructions on the screen wash bottle to see if you need to add water. In winter, you might need to use it undiluted to stop the fluid freezing. In warmer weather, it can be diluted. If you have a funnel, it will help stop spillages. Pour the contents of the bottle into the reservoir. When the reservoir is full, close the cap. Now hold the bonnet and replace the stay in its original position, making sure it's clipped in place. 
Lower the bonnet and let it drop. It should lock in place. If it doesn't, then gently push on the edge here until you feel it catch.